Hey everybody, Film Brown here, Film Analysis. I want to talk to you a little bit about the course that you're about to undertake. This course is fun. This course is, uh, well, I think you're going to really find a lot of things that, uh, well, you, you spend a lot of time, no doubt, watching movies. You go to movies at the movie theater. You watch them on your iPhone. You watch them on your iPad, you watch them on the computer, you watch them on television, you got Netflix, you got all that stuff, right? And you spend a lot of time doing that. And not just watching films, movies, but also watching television shows. All of those elements of video all add up to the same kind of thing, and that is that we got to take a look at it. That's our job. Our job this, uh, this semester is to analyze, to take apart and to explore something that we take for granted. So, what is this course all about? It's about that stuff. It's uh, about trying to well, open our eyes to something that we take for granted. The course itself is delivered on a system called Talon. That is the learning management system that we will be uh, well, spending our time with. It uh, houses all of the material that you will need for this class this is a heavily, what, uh, video-oriented course. Makes sense. There's going to be a lot of films for you to watch. Lots of segments of things, parts of things uh, for you to, uh, to uh, partake in. And uh, it makes sense, right? How can we, You can read all day about film in a book. But it's not until you see it, operating, that you really understand what is going on. Now... When you come into the course, after uh, logging in and uh, using your K number and your uh, password from EagleNet, you will be brought in to the course page. It's very simply organized. You will see some tabs across the top that will take you into grades, will have, give you an email function. Uh, there's a help uh, area there as well. Uh, there is a uh, section there that allows you to look at course content. Yeah. Sure, you want to look at that stuff. And uh, you will find, okay, uh, a series of folders that are in the table of contents. In the table of contents, these are all units. These are the units of, of the stuff that we'll be paying attention to in this semester. The first box that you will open up is class content and class data. It has the syllabus, unit syllabus. It walks through, uh, what, the policy for the course, please read these things carefully. Uh, gives you some links to take you out to look at some uh, issues as well. Uh, and gives you the grading uh, platform, gives you the course outcomes, all of the things that you need to understand the course. Likewise, you'll find the unit uh, syllabus there too. Uh, that will say, here's uh, what to do uh, during this time period. Here's the chapter to read. Here's the stuff to look at in, well, in talent. Likewise, you'll find a, a little uh, uh, box there, a little uh, file that will open up and talk about being that this is a very video-involved uh, course. It's important that you, uh, uh, if you find that a video that is not operating for you or if it says it's uh, been taken down, because we use a lot of YouTube, uh, let me know so I can go in and fix that. The show starts in 10 minutes. Now, another aspect of this course, discussion. Discussion is going to be important to this class. Uh, not only are you going to be writing papers and things, but you're going to, I will be posting a, uh, a set of prompts that will ask you a question or will get you to look at some videos or have you select some videos or even provide videos that you maybe even made yourself uh, to demonstrate certain things, and we will discuss. And I want us to make it a real conversation where we, we see things and we talk to each other about it. Not just like a, a, I agree or disagree. And obviously we want to be very civil with each other uh, in this discussion. We are here to learn from each other and to respect each other. Uh, but the, the idea here is, is to, to talk. Uh, and I'm expect, I'll put these prompts up. You will be expected to put an original prompt up and uh, response and then reply to another's as well. Uh, 
there will be time frames on these. You will see this, and uh, a very simple thing. And I want to I want to make this a very living class film about well a, a course about film that is very dead and sterile is not really doing the job. It's got to be us talking. And uh, I'll come in and talk as well during the uh, discussion. Okay, of course it's an audio, it's a, a written discussion, but it, we can still share our ideas and share the richnesses and uh, point of views that we all have about this thing called movies. The show starts in eight minutes. The course is composed <coughs> of some units that are really the aspects of what makes cinema tick. The first unit that we'll get involved with is narrative. And of course, people go to movies for stories. Right? Well, uh, we're going to talk about how does a story begin, uh, what kinds of motivations and expectations are set up, uh, likewise, how does that develop and what levels of development are there that take us through the narrative and then moves us to the conclusion. Our first paper will involve, will, will involve uh, aspects of narrative. And you will notice that all of the folders are organized the same way. Okay, you're going to, when you go in, for instance, when we go into the narrative uh, folder, you're going to find a, uh, at the top, there'll be a file to open that kind of talks about, here's what this uh, unit is all about, here's what you're going to be involved with, here's what you're going to get out of it, and so on. And then, the next items down below are lectures, okay, which augment and go along with the book. Please read these as you read the book. Uh, and likewise, uh, video samples that help you to uh, sort of see the things in the flesh, or in the celluloid flesh. Uh, at the bottom, you will find, and this is par for all of the units, uh, at the very bottom will be the paper, okay, the assignment for uh, this uh, aspect of narrative. Okay. So you, you'll find that repeated across all of the different units. Uh, the second unit, after we're done with narrative, with story, in film, okay, uh, how do you tell a story? Well, it's not through just what people say, it's through what we see, and it's through the manipulations of screen space and screen sound and so on. So our next unit is uh, sort of uh, something you see every day in film. It's always there. It's something called mise-en-scene. Mise-en-scene is the arrangement of what is inside the frame. Okay, what's inside this frame that you see me in right now? All of this is mise en scene. Uh, the setting, aspects of walls and so on, the, uh, 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 the way that I, as a figure, am placed in here, okay, figuration. Uh, likewise, uh, am I flat or am I evoking depth? Uh, likewise, uh, how am I costumed? I'm wearing a shirt. I've got glasses on. How do I wear my hair that I have left? Uh, likewise, how am I lit? Okay. Am I high-key lit, low-key lit, is light coming from above, from behind, uh, from the side? Uh, those are all aspects of mise-en-scene. What is in the frame? You will see again that organization in that folder. Okay, And the last item there will be asking you to do a mise-en-scene analysis. Third, okay, after we <coughs> talk about what is a story, after we talk about what's in the frame, we got to talk about, well, what, uh, what is the vantage point on the stuff you see in the frame? And is there space outside of the frame? Yes, there is. There's off-screen space. There's a space behind me. There's space on the other side of the camera. Yeah. Okay. So those are the enlarging aspects of space. Likewise, uh, am I in a medium shot or am I in a long shot or am I in a low angle, high angle? Those are aspects. Is the camera static? Is the camera moving? These are all aspects of cinematography, of the shot. Uh, do we find that the, uh, uh, the different lenses are being used and so on? Yep, probably so. Uh, so that, that next aspect, okay, besides mise-en-scene, is we have to get some shots together. And the, this is cinematography. The whole movie is made up of lots of shots. And how do you connect those shots together comes down to how you edit it. So editing is the connection of and the coordination of shots A to B to C to D. 
So we'll be looking at and and really editing is where it's all at. Okay, editing is the heart beat of film. It sets the pace. It sets the tempo. Uh, tempo. It sets the uh, how how the we understand a flow of action to occur. Uh, it, it uses things called joins, like uh, fades, dissolves, cuts. It uses <coughs> aspects of uh, what we call the relations, the four relations, graphic matches, graphic contrast, uh, aspects of temporality, aspects of space, aspects of rhythm. And it all is there to build a continuity, continuity of logic. Now, when we're done with that unit, we will be moving into, well, sound. Sound is very important. Sound is, uh, of course, if I were just sitting here with no sound uh, capability or no ability to record it, I'd be like that. Okay, now, there was a period in America, well, not just American, but in uh, cinema, uh, where we were basically mute, uh, the silent era. But since then, right, obviously, we, uh, we expect there to be sound. But sound is really the manipulation and the orchestration of noises. And, excuse me, I'm going to make one right now. <coughs> of a cough. That is a certain set of vibrations. And we also have uh, moments when it's very quiet. This also uses sound. So, we'll be analyzing how sound works in cinema. So, all those are all the units. The show starts in one minute. Read over the data. If you have any questions, write me. I'm always here. You can write me through the uh, Talon email function. One thing about the Talon is you email out. And that message goes out to your student email. It goes to my email. And uh, our discussion then usually stays on that side. But you start it in Talon uh, and send it uh, to your student email. Uh, always check your student email. Because when I respond to you, it will be back in your student email. Okay? Uh, I will remind you of that frequently. Because I, I always respond. And uh, I respond very quickly on things. And if you don't like, if you're looking in Talon for the response to that, you won't find it there. It's over in your student email. So make that a daily visit for this class. Okay, folks. Look forward to working with you. Look forward to hearing about your stuff, seeing your analyses, and seeing some of the stuff that you're going to be providing with us. Roll up, Smokey. And now, on with the show.